I swear we start on these menus like every single bonus episode known to man. But thank god it's almost over, right? Yep. Hello there everybody and welcome to the last bonus episode of Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So now, we're gonna tackle the only sub game we have left. The True Arena. So the True Arena was introduced in Kirby Superstar Ultra. The DS remake of Kirby Superstar for the Super Nintendo. And this is where we have to fight each EX boss. Yes, every single one of them, including the EX mini bosses as well. And of course, they're gonna be in random order, so be careful. And wow, <laughs> aren't Jesus be damned? We start off with the Landia fight just as we did with the arena mode. All right, so. If you're going to want to speedrun this, then my pro tip for you is to wait until the enemy stops, or rather the boss stops having its intro animation. Because you won't be able to get a hits on them otherwise. So, yeah, we're going to do this really quickly as well, because I love speedrunning the true arena. Which is why, which is partially why I like the true arena is one of my all-time favorite additions to any game period. Or at least in any Kirby game period. I mean, the true arena has been a thing ever since Kirby Superstar Ultra. And every Kirby game afterwards, I've always wanted to speedrun. And I freaking love it. Like, I recently speedrun the true arena of Planet Robobot 2, so that's great. By the way, this time you only have three Maxim Tomatoes instead of five. And one of the abilities that you can change into always has sleep included with, you know, another useful ability. So, yeah. As sleep... As much as sleep is not really a useful ability at all. So, yeah. <laughs> sleep is useless. Alright, so next we got Fatty Puffer. Of course, gonna roll around at the speed of sound like always. And, um, I can't go anywhere without my trusty hammer for the true arena. I never go into the true arena without this thing, honestly. It's literally my favorite ability. I just can't do it without. I just can't do anything without it. I know I'm dependent, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright, next up is Wispy Woods EX. So good. Alright, let's see. So, again, Wispy Woods EX. Probably just gonna stand there and just take your abuse. And wow. You got him to way below his expected half health, so that's good. And of course, him being Wispy Woods EX, he's going to, you know, throw those apples at you when he's, you know, suck, trying to suck you in. Just to add a little bit of an extra flair to it. But fortunately, since this is the true arena, you have, you know, your full health instead of, you know, half health like you did in extra mode. So, yeah. Sphere Doomer EX. Alright, so these are all the Sphere Doomers now. Um, there's literally no difference to them. Well, literally no difference in the way you fight the Sphere Doomers. It's basically the same thing as the Arena, where you have to fight, you know, the Green Doomer first, then the Purple Doomer and the Red Doomer next, and then you take on, you know, the Ice Doomer himself. I like how I, I like how I have these, like, really, really fancy names for, like, all of them. And I'm getting hit pretty bad here. Like, seriously. What the heck? Thank you. Now I really need to concentrate because I almost lost half all my health. I'm gonna die. And yeah, look at that. Hammer is so great that you can basically do half of the Doomer's health all in one move. Thank you, Hammer Flip, for being such a good mate. And don't forget your blocking techniques. Blocking is always a good technique. So, yeah, don't forget to block if you can. Mini bosses. Now, nah, if I concentrate, then I think I'll be okay to take a uh, to take a dose of maximum tomato. That sounds like a medicine. Hey, screw you, screw you, kibble. You don't deserve my love. In fact, no Kirby enemy deserves my love, except for the Waddle Dees, since they're all good dudes. They're just happy little man. Well, Mundo isn't. Well, Mundo isn't. 
Okay. Come on. Yeah, man. There we go. Besides, you already fought these mini-bosses all your life. You should know how to do this. Now, here comes a big difference for the arena. So, in EX, in the true arena, you fight these guys at once. My best tip, take them on one at a time. Of course, I'm not doing so hot considering that I'm talking and I am also fighting them. So, yeah, I'm not doing so well. All right. There we go. There we are. Oh, uh, mid-boss all-stars one. Okay. And wow, they got hammer as a one one of the abilities that you can change. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. You got to edge. EX. Die. 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 If you're actually familiar with the uh, Kirby 3DS titles, then you would know that this is actually not like hammer's like real speed here. Rather, it's the speed of a console hammer at work, not the speed of the handheld hammer. And, you know, it's actually... The hammer in this game actually goes off a lot slower than in a... than uh, the 3DS hammer. I don't know, I played the Kirby 3DS game so much, and it's been ingrained into my brain. I guess. But, techniques aside, we got Granddad. I don't know why I call him Granddad. He has grand in the name, so obviously it must be a joke. I'm trying to make a joke here, but I'm failing at it, which is why I don't get many views. I don't make good jokes. Jokes! Alright. Come on, you stupid... Okay. Get out of the way! Thank you. And just basically hammer flip him to death. So pretty much once again, if your super, if your boss fight is going to use super abilities, then that's not going to be present here in the arena. Mr. Duder, Mr. Duder with a mustache. That's basically how he is. All right. So once again, wait until the boss intro animation ends so you can just go ahead and attack him, because again, you won't take any, you won't give out any damage to the boss. If he's still in the animation. Alright, phase two, baby. Let's go. Alright, see you. Go! And basically do that down hammer thing. Yes. Yes. And yeet! Yeet! Come on, that hammer didn't even touch you, man. You're pathetic. You're pathetic as hell. What's up, Goku? Alright, Goliath. Next. Again, this boss this boss kinda is a trouble for me. Um, regardless of whether or not I'm fighting him in actuality or the any other thing. <laughs> it's basically the same thing. It's basically the same boss fight, you know? Except you know it's in the arena. You're timed. You're timed on this. And of course you're gonna go all Super Saiyan, and then you're gonna do your little spirit bomb thing. Spirit bomb bleed. And jump up really high. But of course, since I have hammering excellence. Uh, what are you going to do? There we go. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do things proper. And once again, this fake ass arena. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, okay, we're good. We're good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this actually in the other arena. So basically, uh, whenever you waste a maxim, whenever you use a maxim tomato in the rest area, um, they're always going to be replaced by a regular tomato instead of a maxim tomato. So I guess that's what makes this cool, I suppose. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't you do? Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, boy, yeah, boy! Teabag you, teabag you, teabag you! <laughs> Oh boy. So then here we go. We're going into the final four. And if you recognize this music from Kirby's Dreamland 3, this is the map of Iceberg. The uh, seventh uh, world in uh, Kirby's Dreamland 3. Alright. So, yeah. I forgot to check the lore here. 
This is the ultimate test of skill. This is the gauntlet of courage. This is the final proving ground. Emerge victorious and you'll become a Kirby master. All right, let's do it. So once again, uh, because you're going to be using Landia here in this fight, uh, no abilities are going to help you. No abilities are going to help you at all. So let's see. All right. So, of course, if you remember Lord EX, he's, of course, going to shoot out all those things at you. Nothing that we've heard about before. I've already explained enough about Lord EX while we were doing the uh, EX mode, of course. And, of course, everything that applies to Lord EX can also apply to the regular version as well. Except for that. Except for that. That is an attack that only exists in uh, EX mode. So, yeah. Because that mode exists. Alright. Shoot those orbs. Shoot them orbs, baby. Alright. So, shoot them stuff. Whoa. Freaking close as heck. Yeah. <laughs> no damage at all. Thank you, Lord. I finally have my no damage one, as I intendedly promised. Alright, HRD3. Let's do it. So as we're fighting HRD3 here... By the way, it's just basically Metal General, except in a bigger robot. Allow me to explain something here. So, here's what I've been getting at here when I was talking about uh, HRD3 last time. If you remember uh, a certain trailer from before, when this game was being developed. This game was originally a Kirby platformer for the GameCube that was going to be, uh, un that was unveiled in 2005, I believe, for the GameCube. And in that very trailer is not only the song that you hear in the arena, or the arena Steam, but it's also, um, it also contains HRT3 as a boss. And one of his attacks was actually in, you know, the beta that I hope we're going to get to see here. In fact, we should be able to see it here, too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this attack right here, where he shoots out a big laser at you. So, yeah, this game has been in development since 2005, and it, was, it wasn't until 2011, after going through so many different changes and so many different art styles and... Uh, you know, game development stuffs like making it single player again and making it four player with a pop up art book style before eventually settling on the new Super Mario Brothers format and just making it four player cooperative with a new style to it. So, yeah, development hell, but I think it was worth it. Versus Galactonite. This is an exclusive boss to the true arena. The most powerful warrior in the galaxy who somehow drifted into this universe from another dimension. Because reasons! What a dream battle! Yeah, so this is Galactonite here. His character is basically a very, very dangerous one. He was a much feared warrior from another dimension who was sealed away long ago because his power was too great. This guy could destroy planets. And in Kirby Superstar Ultra, where he debuted, um, Meta Knight released him because he made a wish on Galactic Nova, on Nova to fight the strongest warrior in the galaxy. So yeah, and he is indeed the strongest warrior, considering the fact that he's one of the hardest bosses in any Kirby game you'll play. So, Galactonite pretty much earns that title because he has so many different attacks. He attacks at a random pattern. He can block your attacks even. So, yeah. He can also do many different sword slashes as well as summon, you know, all sorts of swords and stuff to kill you. He can even do tornadoes. Yeah, this guy can summon tornadoes at well, too. But, you know, it's kind of a shame that we just get to hear, you know, Landia's theme to this fight. you think we'd hear some new interesting music. But... As we enter phase two. I'm just going to let this next track sink in. 
Because believe you me, this is going to be one of the most badass themes you'll ever hear in any Kirby game. Allow your ears to be opened and sink in the badassness. <laughs> That was amazing. Galactonite's theme is one of my all-time favorite Kirby themes, and for very, very good reason. <laughs> the good thing is you don't even have to play Kirby Superstar Ultra in order to totally get this guy. And once again, he's an exclusive boss to the true arena. You don't fight him in EX mode at all. So, yeah, what an amazing treat. For those of you who are big fans of him in Kirby Superstar Ultra. But either way, now we got Magalore EX once again. He's a liar and a wizard, and he needs to be defeated as all hell. I'm actually really amazed that I didn't even use um, most of my uh, healing items in the true arena, actually. <laughs> because I consider myself, you know, really on form when it comes to, you know, the true arena. Because... Believe you me, if there's any Kirby game with a true arena, I will consistently play it and play it and play it. And, you know, I'll just totally get it. I'll totally get every single boss pattern, every single fight that I have to do. And, you know, I'll just totally get it, you know? So, yeah. But... There's one more fight. And that is Magalore's soul. I'm gonna try to take in this box! Why can't I take in the box? Why can't I? They're evil. You can't use the box. Screw you, box. I don't need you. You, you. you never did anything for me. You never did nothing. You don't know me. But yeah, we got Magalore's soul here. Unlike what I did, <laughs> unlike what I did, I'm actually going to talk this over now. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> I just wanted to be, I don't know why I decided to be, you know, quiet for Crown. Because, you know, Crown, it's like I said, Crown is one of the greats. It's one of the greats in Kirby. In fact, it, everyone says it's like, it's, it's their favorite. It's their all-time favorite. And that's why it's been receiving s several remixes throughout the years. It's been remixed in DDD's Drum Dash Deluxe with a little cute little fast version. It's received a symphonic rock remix in Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. And yeah, it's been one of the greats. And that's what people theor that's why people often like to theorize that, you know, Magalore will come back at some point because people really because people really like Magalore as a villain, and, you know, I like him too. He is a really, really amazing villain. Like, he... Like, he's so cute. I really like his design. I really like, you know, how you can just, you know, spend the entire game with him. He's not just some, you know, random Kirby villain that just shows up, like, at the end of the game. Like, you know, Queen Sectonia and Kirby Triple Deluxe. 
And, uh, you know, he's just great. I really like him a lot. I can't really say enough good about Magalore. Even though President Haltman in Kirby, in Kirby Planet Robobot might take it because might take that spot because lore. But hey, I really like Magalore a lot. I know I keep saying that, but it's it's true. It's honest to God true. Magalore is amazing. But either way, that's it. That's the true arena. And that is every single mo done. We've taken care of all the mini games. We can now select characters other than Kirby in the true arena, like we would care about that. And we get a little special treat for 100%ing this. And that special movie is what we just saw. <laughs> but yeah, I might as well show off the other menu options while we're here. So basically, here's the sound test. So yeah, this is the sound test where you can listen to music at your leisure. And also, you know, you can also listen to the sound effects here as well. I also like how there's sound, there's music tracks for killing bosses like Track 111, I think. Uh. Yeah, track one 111 is Magalore's soul being defeated. And, you know, the badass theme of badassness. Yeah. So, yeah, you can listen to every single track in the game here with the sound test. It's nothing that, you know, diff other soundtracks didn't do before. So, that's good. And, uh, this is the theater. We can view all the cutscenes. So, yeah. And uh, right over here, uh, this these two cutscenes, Final Battle and Final Battle EX. What I showed off the snippet there in the last video, it was a little bit of it was a snippet from you know this cutscene near the end because it actually ends differently. So, in Final Battle, it ends with Kirby and the gang getting you know knocked down to that arena where you fight Maglor. And in EX mode, it ends with uh, Magalore powering up to his EX state. And, you know, staff credits, they're nothing really too special. They're just, you know, basically the same thing with different pictures. And, of course, you can view the Kirby Master video anytime that you want. Also, just saying, I really, really like how Magalore and Galactonite are just chilling in the audience like that. But either way, that's it. That is Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX. Or rather, Kirby's Return to Dreamland as a whole. So yeah, I really like this game a lot. Like, it's $20 on the eShop, so you really have, you know, honestly nothing to lose if you want it. Well, considering that the Nintendo Switch is on the way in a few months, you obviously want to get it as best you can because, you know... Lord knows that the Nintendo Switch isn't going to be backwards compatible at all because they switched to cartridges now, whatever. I already I already ranted about that on Twitter. I'm not going to rant out about that again. Besides, this is about Kirby. So, yeah, Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Kirby Planet Robobot might be taken... I don't know. I don't know, man. My rankings for Kirby games are weird. But for right now, we'll just say Kirby's Return to Dreamland, best Kirby game. And a great way for beginners to get into the Kirby series, if it's not for the other classic Kirby games that are av that are available right now. So, yeah, do yourself a favor and play this game. It's a good Kirby game and a good Nintendo game in general. But now that leads me into the next Let's Play. I'll just say this: I have legitimate good reasons for starting this next one. 
Some of you, or at least one of you, might know what it is. But I'm going to keep you in the dark until next time. And I promise you, I'm going to go with this as quickly. I'm going to record this as soon as I can or get started on recording it because I already have the thumbnails and plans all out and ready. So all I need to do is just record and, you know, we should be good to go. Either way, thank you for watching Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Thank you. Thank you to those who subscribed for me throughout this journey. And thank you to that one guy on Twitter who constantly likes my videos because I think I have a biggest fan now. <laughs> See you guys on the next time, whatever it may be. See you guys whenever. I'm throwing that I'm doing a throwback to an old intro an old outro I used to do. At Vita saying goodbye, whatever. <laughs> See you guys whenever the next let's play begins.